Even though Smokey the Bear threatened to uninvite me to the holiday party, I'm making this smoke text effect anyway. Smokey Robinson said it was fine. To start off, right click in the media pool, go to new fusion composition, hit create. Now double click on that fusion composition to jump into it. I've got one open already, so I'm gonna start from there. So click and drag your text on screen. Type your text in there. I'm gonna press one to preview that, increase the size. I'm gonna use this font called Mango Days. It's free from defont.com. All right, go to font. Now let's press shift and space bar and get a blur. Connect this up. With the blur selected, I'm gonna press two to preview it and bring the blur size up. I just wanted enough to get a little bit of a rounded corner instead of such a sharp edge. Something like that works. And if you click on these three dots and your checker underlay is not on, check it on because you wanna see the transparency. Now let's hit shift space bar. BRI brightness contrast hit enter let's connect this up here press 2 to preview it now what I want to do is uncheck R G and B and check a take the gain all the way to the right with brightness contrast still selected I'm gonna hold down shift and space bar and type VARI very blur hit enter I'm gonna change this to 20 and press 2 to preview that all right, so taking some nice shape here. Now we bring out the star of the show with very blur still selected. Hold down shift and space bar and type in V-E-C-T. We want vector distortion. I'll click on that, press enter. So I'm gonna click and drag a fast noise out here and connect it to my vector distortion. And I wanna preview this fast noise in the left viewer. So press one to preview that. Go into color, bring this alpha up. This color we want to be red. The bottom color we want to be green let's click on our vector distortion press 2 to preview that on the right and you can see something that does not look good we will soon remedy that x channel is set to red y channel let's set that to green let's come into the fast noise click on the noise tab increase the detail increase the contrast so that looks a little bit better and adjust the scale up and we're gonna get more detail that's too much detail I don't know if you're just making clouds or something, but for smoke, somewhere around here is better. Of course, we could adjust the brightness too. You're definitely gonna wanna come in here later and make fine tune adjustments. So don't need to be perfect at this point. I will take the scale down just a bit. So vector distortion is a very fun effect. And if you increase the scale, you'll see you get some really nice looks, but you will slow down your rendering a lot. So keep this at the minimum to get the look that you need, unless you got a crazy supercomputer and then do whatever you want so you can see we've got the effect but we also have some issues with hard edges and also i only want the smoke to be emanating from the top of the text so let's fix that right now making sure vector distortion is selected i'm gonna hit this rectangle mask and i'm gonna shape it so it's something like this bring it up increase the soft edge let's clean this up a little bit here so what i'm gonna do is give a little extra distortion to the overall text so I'm going to go back one. I'm going to click on very blur, select that, hold down shift space bar, type in D-I-S-P. This displace will work. Select that, press enter. And I'm going to take my fast noise from the vector and add it to this displace. I'm going to press two so I can preview this displace a little bit more cleanly. All right, let's adjust some things here. And let's go back to vector distortion, press two to preview that. Let's add some animation to the smoke. So I'm going to select fast noise, right click on center and click expression. Okay, so for my expression, I have point open parentheses time forward slash 500, and that's our X value, and then comma time forward slash 2000, that's our Y value, and then end parentheses. And let's give this a little bit of seethe, 0.05, do a quick test render. Okay, so we've got our text, we got it smoking, maybe things need to be adjusted, maybe the seethe rate is a little bit too high. But the first thing is go back to vector distortion and take this number down if you could afford to do it. I know my renders are gonna go faster now and if this still looks good, then that's perfect. So also in fast noise, we can adjust contrast, brightness, and you can see as you adjust the brightness one way, the text gets more vertical, the other way the text gets more flat. So the red and the green are controlling the direction of the distortion. So use that to your advantage. Also the scale, we might want to scale this up now or down for a more cartoony look. And we could bring detail in here. All right, so a lot of fun stuff. Now, if you want more, what you could do is take these four nodes, control C, control V, copy and paste, connect these up. 
press two to preview this. All right, so now obviously everything is more distorted, but we can come back into this fast noise, change things like the angle, the seethe rate, change these numbers here from 500 to 400, from 2000 to, I don't know, 1500, and make any changes here in the settings. Go to this vector distort. So you can see we're basically doubling our amount of detail, or if we want, we can grab the rectangle and just bring it down and say you want text to be smoking at the top and at the bottom. Maybe I'll make this more narrow up. Actually, I think soft edge can come down some here. All right, so you're in full control. Don't forget to connect up your media out. Press two to preview that. And let's give another test render here, see what we got. All right, so now you got smoked text and you also have no excuses now for making a YouTube channel on how to grill and smoke meats. And if you do, send me a link. Also, don't forget that everything is still procedural. I'm about to throw a steak on right now.